You're my new favorite, Robert. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I, I thought about uh, just reading a poem. And, um, well, something funny happens to you, I think, when you spend three or four days watching four hours of poetry a day. You start to feel, um, you start to feel unworthy. And um, this feeling of unworthiness kind of combined with another feeling I had that there was someone here in Macedonia who I felt I owed something to, who has always supported my work, you know, a truly great man, someone who's been um, a patron in a way, uh, who I feel as a poet really understands me, and that's so rare. So I thought I would ask that great man, the greatest Macedon since Alexander, to come and read uh, instead of me as a surrogate. So please, uh, a round of applause for Kalin Domovsky. <laughs> There's a newly dead dolphin. There's a newly dead dolphin mothering me, again, refusing to acknowledge that it can hear just a little but faint sounds the moving of the human age upon its person. Admiring a tale tethered over with music isn't just thinking about itself so much that it ended up worrying about what was on its way and it ignoring the water everyone and their mother was swimming in which choppy with blood but everyone thought, thought was cranberry juice good for the kidneys. Bravo! Thank <laughs> you.